Nine students participated in the ninth Chinese Bridge Competition, including four students from the T.M. Marshall Community College and five students from the Anglican High School. The competition was divided into two sessions, Chinese Speech and Chinese Talent Show. In the Chinese Speech session, with the theme of One World, One Family, the college student contestants delivered speeches on the Chinese dragon, Chinese technology, Chinese music, and Chinese food, with the theme Fly High with Chinese. The Anglican High School's contestants spoke on Chinese oracle bone inscriptions, myth, historical illusions, and Chinese dialects. Their wonderful performances brought a feast of Chinese performance art to the audience. <laughs> Ambassador designate of Grenada to China, Ian Marshall, said he was deeply impressed by the contestants' performance. He shared that the song Friends by the college students brought back pleasant memories of his old Chinese friends, as it was the song he sang when he studied in China. He pointed out to the students the importance of language learning, which he believes is a bridge between different cultures. We are in a global society as COVID um, has taught us, and language is key. So please, let us continue to learn both language culture. Chinese Ambassador Wei Hongxiang noted that cultural communication is a two-way exchange. Not only do Grenadian people learn about Chinese culture, but also Chinese people learn about the Grenadian culture. Chinese people enjoy the unique features of Jia Jia, <laughs> Carnival, the Big Drum, Malone Festival, and of course, Oida from Grenada. The results of the ninth Chinese bridge competition are as follows. From the college group, Carissa Lett won first place, Kendra Phillips secured second place, Hereshal Richards placed third, and Arian Gray won the Excellence Award. From the Anglican High School group, Lydia Lalji won the first prize, Symphony Lord second, Melody Lord third, and Rachel Chase and Jaden Gittens won the Excellence Award. Cherry and Blackman Stephen, GBN News.